welcome back. Many thanks for staying with us. We'll bring you the story about the finance minister and what government is saying about the minorities' request. We'll also have a conversation with Sent Ghana on the latest survey and what it means for the country. But for now, let's remind you of our agenda this week. Well, it is not a tale of two cities, but of one. Whilst the central business district of Wa has its road recently asphalted, the other suburbs have their roads riddled with potholes and dust. Drivers plying those routes say the bad nature of the road makes their vehicle to, to get spoiled for, for them to uh, repair with all that they make from their business. From that place, join us is Upper West Region, Regional Correspondent Rafiq Salam reports that some residents are complaining of headaches and chest pains. Coming into the heart of the central business district of the Wa municipality, driving or walking on the few kilometers of the asphalted roads, you may have a feeling that residents in the municipality have no worries about their roads. But that is not exactly the case as you move out of the central business district. This is the road linking the Wa municipality to the Naduluke Nadulukeleu, Dafema Buse Isa, Sasala West, Sasala East, and the Wa East districts. It is the road that leads to the industrial area, or better known as the War Magazine. It was constructed and paved with bituminous surface over 20 years ago. However, today it is replete with potholes. Vehicles and motorists plying the route try to dodge the gaping holes on the road, sometimes running into each other. 42 year old Nu Imoru has been driving this taxi for the past 12 years. It's for my car. Today, self, about two weeks today, I came to have my, this, my sock absorber. Because of the place no good, I entered there and my sock absorber break. So I don't know how I will repair it. So I go borrow it for the fitters, the magazine fitters, they come and tow it for me for the road, the place. How the place gets this. The government is have to help us for the road. We are suffering for that. About almost 80 years today, and the road is still like that. A similar story can be said of some of the roads at Wakwaguri. Apart from the several potholes one could describe as manholes, residents of this suburb on daily basis also inhale dust from the vehicle's person. Faustina Awana is a mother of five and owns this provisional shop. Through the dust inhaled by the person of the vehicles, she has now developed headache and chest pains. My only worry here is the dust. All my clothes become dirty because of the dust. If a person comes to buy anything, I cannot give it out without cleaning it. I am always sick by inhaling the dust. If I blow my nose and you see the dust that will come out from my nostrils, you will be surprised. My house is full of dust. As a result of that, I always have chest pains. One municipal chief executive, Alaji Isakutai Mumin, says government has plans of fixing the stretch of Porto Riddle Road. I brought them to the notice of the authorities in the municipality, I mean the authorities in charge of uh, maintenance and working on roads. And uh, I think it was listened to. So later on, um, we, those roads were advertised. I mean, the contract was advertised and people bidded for it. And the bids were open here and evaluation is in process. And I think by now, by now, and hopefully it will not be long, I'm sure a contract will be awarded. Because um, looking at the quantum of money involved, it is outside the threshold of this municipality and probably even the, uh, the region. So it's being handled uh, by national because uh, the national will have to give a concurrent approval of uh, that contract. And I'm sure if that is done and the approval is given, um, what is what is budgeted for resealing can take care of, I mean, the potholes within the municipality. And then also we will be able to also work on part of the roads that are yet to be tired. Moving out of the heart of the municipality, the situation is worse, as you can see clearly, as there are broken culverts all over. In areas like Nakore, the culverts on the road has been broken for over a year leading to several accidents. 23-year-old Sani Mumuni has a welding and fabrication shop some few meters away from the broken culvert. 
There are times that he has to run away to avoid being hit by a vehicle or a motorist. He has lost count of the number of accidents which have occurred here. If accident occur here, either we run inside house or we run into there and take the people. Uh, because the accident cause here is not good at all. You know, see one of the Kodoroko block has removed. It's when they saw cars come and hit it and lie down here. You know, see the Kodoroko dump. Uh, it's not good. Making some accident here. Every day we are seeing so, so many accidents here every day. Drivers and passengers plying the route from what to the Wawa's district are equally unhappy about the state of the roads. Osman Lukman drives this urban bus on daily basis to the Wawa's district capital, Wuchau. He says he has never traveled to Wuchau and back to Wa without visiting the fitted shop for repairs work. Oh. I cannot describe how bad the road is. Right now, I am on my way to the magazine to repair the vehicle. I nearly ran into the broken culvert when you were stopping me. Government should work on the road for us. But while Municipal Chief Executive Tari Saku says government will fix the road soon. Um, the one called Very Road uh, and the Feeder Road um, was advertised, and I'm sure the process is ongoing, meaning contractors are bidding for it. And at the appropriate time, it will be awarded, and work will go on. You see, I initially um, planned to work on uh, the culverts alone, at least to make the place more trouble. Uh, for vehicles and to reduce the speed of accidents. But upon discussion with the Eber Road, sorry, um, the Feeder Roads uh, Regional Engineer, he advised me that uh, the proposals we presented and then following up will soon get approval. So it will be good for us to use um, funds that could otherwise be used for other immediate needs for that place. And lo and behold, his words come to, uh, you know, came to pass and the place is being awarded. The people of the war municipality are waiting with bated breath for the promise of the war MCE and the government to give a facelift to the roads in their communities in order to make their life better. Reporting for Dwayne News, Rafik Salam. Wa. Rafik Salam there doing his thing.